In this chapter, we begin looking in more detail at the question of central force motion. So this is where we have two bodies exerting a force on one another, and the force vector basically points between the two bodies. There's some nice simplifications uh, that we can employ for this section to understand the dynamics of these very important systems. So the system we're considering uh, are two masses, mass m1 and mass m2. They are located at positions relative to some inertial coordinate system, r1 and r2. And the forces that they exert uh, between one another are force of particle 2 on 1 and force of particle 1 on 2. And these two force vectors connect between these two particles. So the force of 2 on 1 points from particle 1 to particle 2 uh, or away from it. And the force of particle 1 on particle 2 points toward or away from particle 1. So these are central forces. We'll also assume that these forces are conservative, and so we can write a potential energy function that describes them. Uh, one good example of such a force is the gravitational force between two masses, and the potential energy function for that gravitational force is given by this expression here. So there's a, uh, the constant g and the, the, the product of the two uh, masses and divided through by the magnitude uh, of their separation vector. So here again, here's our mass 1, our mass 2, and here's the separation vector. So the potential energy here is only depends on the distance between the two uh, masses, not on their individual locations. And so we can rewrite our potential energy function is not just a function of r1 and r2 vector, but rather uh, a function of the separation between the two things, like this. To save ourselves the trouble of writing subscripts over and over again, we can define a new vector, just r, as the displacement vector between the two masses. Then that means our potential energy function is a function of this vector r, and, and just the magnitude of that vector r, not the direction, just the magnitude. That's true for a central force. And so uh, we see that we can write our Lagrangian as the sum of the kinetic energies of motion for uh, each of the two particles minus whatever the potential energy function is, which in many cases is going to turn out to be gravity, but it doesn't have to be.